Hi everybody, welcome back to Brailsford Family Homestead. I'm Darcy and welcome back to day 24 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. Today I harvested some herbs that I'm gonna put on my drying rack. I've got some yarrow and some Tulsi or holy basil. I'm really hoping I can get more of this before the season is over. It's my first year to grow this. I was gonna process some more sauce tomatoes, but I think that I have enough in for a batch of sauce that I will do tomorrow. So I will just put all of the sauce tomatoes I have left through the squeezo and get those purees out of the freezer. So all I have to do is put these on the drying rack. I'll see you guys back tomorrow for day 25. God bless. Hi everybody, welcome back to day 25 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. I was gonna make tomato sauce today, but the real field temperature is well over 100 degrees today. So having something on the stove or in the roaster pan heating up the house all day just didn't seem like the best idea. I am still gonna be canning though. I'm making some space in my freezer by using up an extra large bag of cranberries and making a double batch of smooth cranberry sauce. I'll pop some videos up here of where I've made that and chunky cranberry sauce. And it's delicious, way better than anything you'll buy in a can for Thanksgiving or other times. <laughs> and also just because I can, today is August 25th, so it's my sister's birthday. So happy birthday, sissy. All ready to be jarred up. I've got my jars in here hot. I've just boiled the berries and sugar. So this recipe has the same cook time, whether you do pints or half pints. So I'm going to do some of both. I like using the wide mouth uh, pints for making it look like, you know, the cranberry sauce in a can and it will slide right off being a wide mouth. The, the half pints will too, because they, they have, it's a regular mouth, but it's all one size. So there's just serving size difference. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a half an inch head space and the cook time is 15 minutes, whether it is a pint or a half pint. So I'm gonna get all of these full and see exactly how many I end up with. I got three wide mouth pints and one half pint. And there's just a little bit left that I'll put in a jar for eating later. <laughs> Just gonna put the lid on here, get it up to a boil, and process for 15 minutes. Time is up, and I'm pulling these out of the canner. Sorry, my dishwasher's on. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so I got those three pints and one half pint. So that's gonna do it, already popping up. <laughs> that's gonna do it for day 25. We'll see you back tomorrow for day 26. God bless. Hi everybody, welcome back for day 26 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. I am just gonna cut up this yellow squash and put it on the dehydrator. I love using these throughout the winter in a soup that I make. So I had some other things to do today, went on a hot date with my husband. I'll insert a cute picture here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut this up, get it on the dehydrator, and then we'll see you back for day 27. This is the size I typically do when I'm dehydrating them. You don't want to do it too small because then they'll fall through the tray and things like that. But this turns out to be pretty good for the soups, but you can break them a little bit more. I'll cut this one in just in half as well. And get these dehydrated. Here's my two trays going in the dehydrator. Hi everybody, welcome back for day 27 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. We are down to the last few days. It has gone by fast and I'm looking forward to making a list of everything we've done together over the, the whole month. I, I try to do a little bit less on Sundays. I have church and other things going on anyway, but I did spend a bunch of time in the garden, harvested a lot of things that I'm hoping to do some canning projects with you over the next couple days before this challenge is over. So I have that all prepared, but it's, it's too late in the evening to start any of those canning projects anyway. So I have some peppers here I am going to, that I just harvested. I'm gonna cut those up, put them in the freezer, and I already bottled up the squash from yesterday. So I'm excited about the upcoming day's canning project. I'm gonna get these uh, bell peppers cut up and I'll show you how much I have when I'm done. Three packages ready for the freezer. 
Thanks for coming along, guys. I'm looking forward to the coming days. See you tomorrow. God bless. Hey, everybody. Welcome back for day 28 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. I have a bunch of stuff on the counter here from harvesting yesterday that I want to can today. So one of the things I've made before, two of the others I have not, but I'm looking forward to trying them. Hopefully we can get to all three today, we will see. I'm gonna make salsa verde, which I have made before, a cherry corn salsa, that, cherry tomato corn salsa, I should say, that came highly recommended, and also a, a hot sauce that I'm going to use mostly my Sugar Rush peaches, peppers in, but I also have a couple of yellow habaneros, and we'll see what else I can throw in there. So let's get started. Well, <laughs> I just got the things chopped up for the salsa verde and I should have gotten a fan like people have suggested to keep my eyes from watering but I'm okay now so I've got the tomatoes onions and garlic in here and and the jalapenos we're gonna put in the lime juice we're gonna start to bring this to a boil and I've already got my spices and my cilantro ready after this I think we're going to move to the corn salsa while that's starting to come up to a boil, I do want to say I have made a salsa verde before, both from the National Center for Home Food Preservation and from the Ball Book. I can link a video up here. I like both of them. Both of them um, are chunky and I do like mine smooth, so I can mine in a wide mouth pint so that I can use my immersion blender when I'm ready to use it because there unfortunately is not a smooth salsa verde that is a safe canning practice. So that's what I do. Look at these beautiful cherry tomatoes. I need to roughly chop these for the cherry tomato corn salsa. I'm only making a half recipe though because I only have two and a half pounds. It calls for five pounds. So we're gonna do that. I will link all of the recipes that I'm using below or add videos if I've made videos on them. Hot jar from the canner, very hot. <laughs> we're gonna fill this to a half an inch of head space and process them for 20 minutes in the hot bath canner. Oops. Probably gonna need to take some of that out. Let's see. Let's debubble first. I'm just using my handy dandy little chopstick. You can use this to debubble, but I like to keep this clean. <laughs> for when I'm measuring and things. A little bit more in there. I always like to have this spoon or a large uh, tablespoon and that helps me take a little out or add a little in, whatever I might need to do. This paper towel has some vinegar on it keep that clean. I have a washed lid here. And this is really hot, so I'm gonna use a <laughs> washcloth, fingertip tight, in the canner it goes. I'm gonna share with you what a, you do if you have stuff left over, but it's not a full pint. You can go down in jar size safely but you cannot go up. So I don't have enough to fill a pint. So I'm going to see here if I can fill this half pint, which I'm fairly certain I can. Now you'll process it for the same amount of time as a pint. Same head space and that stuff. have a washed a lid here, but I need to go grab a ring and get that in there quick. Okay, so three pints and one half pint. <laughs> Put the lid on that. It's already at a rolling boil, so I can start my timer. 20 minutes. When it's done, I'll take the lid off, turn the heat off, 
let it sit for five minutes and take them out. Easy peasy. Time to take them out. Looks great. All right, now I already have all the things for the corn cherry tomato uh, salsa all chopped up. Now we gotta bring this to a boil. We're ready to go with the corn cherry tomato salsa. Let's get it jarred up. This one takes the same head space, a half an inch. This one processes for 15 minutes. Oh, I feel the burn around behind me. <laughs> is good. I just need some vinegar on my paper towel. I washed all of the things that I had used on the last batch. Well, I had a washcloth and I have to get another one. All right, and the can of this one goes. This is what it looks like before it's going in. So pretty. As expected, I got three pints. There is a little bit left in the pot, but that means I'm gonna get to taste it before opening one of those jars after they're being canned. So I gotta find a chip and taste this. I will expect a little different taste from the ones that have been canned because they've been cooked longer and all the Things are sitting there together, able to marinate. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, <laughs> if I can get some chip. Hmm. It is warm, which this type of salsa I would not typically eat warm. I'm gonna say it needs salt though. It's good though. The sweetness of those um, cherry tomatoes with the sweetness of that corn, that's good. That's definitely a good use for cherry tomatoes because if you grow cherry tomatoes, especially more than one plant, you know at times you have a lot of them. <laughs> hmm. All right, on to the next thing. The corn salsa is done. get these all out of the canner and move on to the next thing. Next up is some hot sauce. So I've got some uh, two different types of habaneros in here and sugar rush peach. Whoo, it's already smelling strong. I gotta get a couple more ingredients and then we'll start boiling that up. I've got this all ready to go. That's a whole lot of hotness in there. So I'm supposed to bring this to a boil with the lid on. I know that the steam vapors for this will be quite intense. <laughs> so I have my vent on. I'm actually gonna turn it on high and make sure that I open it away from me and all of that kind of stuff. So if you make hot sauce, you know, <laughs> just be careful. I think I'm gonna make another batch of the salsa verde too, because I need more than that and I have enough of all the ingredients, but we'll see, because I gotta make dinner too. People still wanna eat. I let it cool down, but it is still pretty hot. I think I might give it a few more minutes in here before I blend it up. The air is spicy in my house. 
<laughs> my oldest daughter came in and said it was making her eyes water. <laughs> it's going to be delicious though. I've got it all pureed up and now I've got to heat it back up so we can put it in the jars and can it. Mm, it smells so good. It's time to jar this up. We're using these small, uh, like four ounce jars for this. And we need a quarter inch head space. It said it would to get 12 jars ready, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'll fill that many, but we'll see. It did specifically say a non-metallic uh, utensil for checking the, um, for debubbling. So just in case I, grabbed a metal skewer. All right, and now we need to wipe that rim. We'll give it one last little for good measure since I did put a little bit more in there. got seven of those jars this size in the canner. They have to process for 10 minutes. There is just a little bit left in the pot. Should I taste it? <laughs> it's probably gonna be so hot. That'll set you free. That's good. My husband will not like this. <laughs> he will not like this at all. Well, I have it for myself and I will give some to a few people for gifts. That's hot and it's good. <laughs> They're ready to come out. got dinner on the stove here almost ready and I've already started chopping things up I'm going to make another batch of the salsa verde before we're done for the day all right here's all of our canning projects for the day I got three more pints so a total of six pints of salsa verde one half pint and then the seven four ounce jars of the hot sauce and three pints of the cherry tomato corn salsa Thanks for joining me on day 28. We'll see you tomorrow for day 29. God bless.